The most anticipated 2023 gubernatorial elections in Imo, Kogi, and Bayosa state are creating suspense and anxiety in the political firmament as political gladiators battle for relevance to install their preferred candidate as governors. The gladiators who cut across different political parties within and outside three states are all working tirelessly for their choice candidates to be victorious in Saturday gubernatorial polls in Imo, Bayelsa and Kogi state. Below are some of the major gladiators that will determine the outcome of the Saturday gubernatorial elections. So far, all non-sensitive materials for the election have been delivered to the three states. Other preparatory activities, including training, are on course. President Bola Tinumbu is going to play a dual role in the Saturday governorship elections in Kogi, Bayelsa, and Imo State. As president, he is going to play a fatherly role by ensuring the elections are free, fair, and credible in all the three states. This is the first major election that would be conducted by the Bola Tinumbu administration. Therefore, it is expected that the president will do everything within his power to ensure that elections are credible. But despite his role as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Tinumbu is expected to lead his party to victory in the three states. He will work tirelessly with all Progressives Congress, APC, leaders at the national and state levels to ensure that the ruling party retains Kogi and Imo State and at Bayosa State to being controlled by APC. Abdullahi Ganduje, the APC national chairman, Ganduje is going to use Saturday governorship elections in Imo, Kogi and Bayosa to affirm his party leadership position as the ruling party at the federal level. Saturday elections are the first major elections that Ganduje will supervise as APC national chairman and he is going to work assiduously with the party's campaign committees at the federal and state levels to ensure APC's victory at the polls. Ganduje, an experienced politician and former governor of Kano State, is going to lead the onslaught against the opposition parties in Nigeria to ensure that APC remains a party to beat in Nigeria. Umar Damagum, the Saturday governorship elections are going to be a litmus test for the acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Umar Damagu and all the leaders of the main opposition party in Nigeria. PDP is going into election with full force to bounce back politically. Since the hope of the PDP returning to power at the center was dashed two weeks ago, based on the ruling of the Supreme Court, which reaffirmed the victory of President Tinumbu, the PDP will be going into election with full force to retain Bayosa State and take over Imo and Kogi from ruling party. Damagum, who is going to be supported by former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and other PDP political gladiators, will lead the onslaught against APC on Saturday. Mahmoud Yakubu, this weekend election is a litmus test for the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. All eyes will be on Yakubu for the election commission to conduct free, fair and credible elections in Kogi, Imo and Bayosa State. Yakubu and INEC officials will do the needful to ensure that the outcome of the gubernatorial polls is not marred by controversy like the 2023 general elections, which is a subject of controversy to date. Governors are expected to play crucial roles during Saturday gubernatorial elections. They are going to rally support for their respective parties in the elections. Governor Hope Uzodima Imo and Doye Dewi Bayelsa, who are candidates in the elections, are going to enjoy the support of APC and PDP governors. The governors will also work for candidate victory in Kogi gubernatorial poll. Yaya Belo, 
Though Governor Yaya Bello will not be on the ballot in the Kogi gubernatorial poll, many people believe that he is a major contender in the election. He is the main backbone of Al Haji Ahmed Usman Ododo, the APC governorship candidate. Governor Bello will do everything within his power to ensure that Ododo succeeds him. Apart from major gladiators mentioned above, it is also expected that political leaders across the major parties in the three states will play crucial roles during the Saturday elections in favor of their respective candidates.